Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about when to have sex when you start dating someone new. Should you do it straight away? Should you wait a certain number of dates? Is there like a rule around this? Will it affect your chances of getting into a serious relationship? Well, I am gonna be addressing all of these things right after this. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? So I have a rotten lime in the bottom of my fridge. Just trust me, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? <laughs> that lime is a very, probably slightly gross, keepsake of what was honestly still is the best first date of my life it might have been because i don't want to like implicate anyone but it might have been taken uh without payment when i was joking with my date about my margarita making skills and i complained that i didn't have any limes at home to make them margaritas well and they solve the problem by potentially, maybe, can't prove anything, but perhaps a lime might have been attained from a fruit bowl that was left unattended on a bar. But I do not want to implicate myself in any criminal activity, so I'm just going to say it might have happened, it might not have happened. This is a case for the FBI. It also might have led to going back to my place and having some very hot sex and I am still having hot sex with that same person like nearly five months on from that day. That's because that person is my partner, my girlfriend. Now according to a lot of dating experts, I am an anomaly because I shouldn't have been able to get into a happy, healthy, long-term relationship with someone after having sex with them on the first date. We're repeatedly told as women that we should withhold sex and not give it up straight away because otherwise we might not be taken seriously. We might just be seen as a bit of fun. And if we are wanting to get into a serious relationship, that is going to ruin our chances. Unless you're a woman looking for no strings attached sex, you shouldn't sleep with a guy until he's your boyfriend. I want to explain why I not only disagree with that theory, but I know for a fact that it is absolute BS <clears throat> and that it is a terrible way to try to get into a long-term relationship. But before I do that, I want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped are one of my favorite brands. Although they were originally designed for trimming the hair down there for men, for men's balls, they are also fantastic for women. I personally use Manscaped on my bikini, area just because I find it is so gentle and I've never ever had a single nick with it. I also love that you can take it in the shower. It's fully waterproof and the ceramic blades on it are just fantastic, like incredibly great precision. It is just a beautiful, beautiful tool and something that I have gifted to many friends. In fact, I don't think I even have a friend who I haven't gifted a man a manscaped shaver to at this point. We pretty much just have our own like manscaped club and I'm not mad about it. And if you use the link below this video, you will be able to get anything you like over at Manscaped and you will have a 20% discount plus free shipping applied automatically to your order when you order. Just make sure you use my special link, which is below the video. Now this whole make him wait kind of idea has been around for a long time. Steve Harvey, who is a well-known talk show host, very famously wrote a book called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man that was a bestseller where he gave women all of this very deeply sexist and frankly not very effective advice about how to basically score themselves a husband. And one of the pieces of advice was that women should treat sex like it's a cookie that they want to keep, you know, and not give away 
too soon otherwise the man won't keep coming back the man will have gotten his cookie and then he will scurry on off and in his book he tells women that they should use the 90 day rule if they want to be successful in nabbing themselves a boyfriend or a husband you should withhold your benefit from a man that you first meet for 90 days. Now this is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I have had sex on the first date and had it lead to a relationship, literally the relationship I'm in now. I have also waited to have sex for weeks of dating someone and it has not led to a relationship. There is no formula for getting into a relationship. If someone is genuinely open to commitment, the timing around sex is not going to matter to them. You can bang each other's brains out straight away on the first day, or you can wait till later on, and it's really not gonna have any bearing on whether they keep seeing you. This isn't me, by the way, encouraging people to rush into having sex. I'm saying have sex when it feels comfortable for you. For a lot of people, that might mean waiting a long time before you have sex. You might be someone who needs to build a lot of emotional safety and trust with a person before you even feel like you want to have sex with them. And if that's the case, you should absolutely do that. And you might also be someone who just wants to do it straight away. And you should also do that. What I'm saying is there's no right or wrong. And if you have to lure someone into a relationship by withholding sex like it's a cookie, as Steve Harvey says, then newsflash, that person is not partner material. That person is someone who is hanging around because they think they're gonna get late. The other problem with holding off sex for longer than what you actually comfortably want to is that it ends up putting a lot of pressure on the sex as being this huge big thing. And while I am an absolute advocate of treating sex as though it is a meaningful and serious thing, regardless of when we have it. But I don't believe in unnecessarily putting tons and tons of pressure on sex. I believe that sex should be treated as just another natural part of the dating process and of being in a relationship. You do you boo. That that is absolutely my motto and my philosophy. I also believe that sex is something that you should talk about pretty early in the dating process. To me, it's really odd that when we're dating someone, we will ask them all sorts of things about themselves, their political views, whether or not they want kids, what, what their stance is on marriage, whether they're the marrying type or not, but we won't ask them what their stance is on sex. Are they someone that, doesn't have sex until they feel really emotionally safe with someone or are they someone that just sees sex as a bit of fun or do they have particular sexual fantasies or fetishes that it's really important that their partner can share with them these are really important things to discuss and we shouldn't treat sex as this thing that we just sort of put off to the side and just ignore it because what ends up happening when we ignore sex is that it tends to come up as a problem later on in the relationship. And the last thing I'll say on this is we need to stop putting rules around sex because sex is not a one size fits all thing. It is an innately unique personal experience that varies between all of us. We shouldn't be treating it like there is just one set of guidelines that we should all follow when it comes to sex. Follow the set of guidelines that work for you so long as you are having sex in a way that is fully consensual and safe, go ahead and do it in your way. And I hope that this video has made you feel a little bit more confident about owning your sexuality and your own boundaries around sex moving forward into your dating life. I would also just love to hear your thoughts on this and where you stand on waiting to have sex or not waiting to have sex and just putting rules on sex in general. If you're feeling brave, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit my link and check out Manscaped because every time you guys buy from them, it tells them to keep supporting me. Plus, great idea for a gift. And hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already because you know, my channel's pretty great and I make lots of really cool sex ed content. I'm like a cool older sister who like tells you all the things about sex that you never learned in school because we should have learned all this stuff in school and we didn't. And if you want more content like this, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell or YouTube will not let you know when my videos are going live. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.